I've been lonely. So I end up cheating on my husband. Yes, I cheated on him. He don't know that I cheated on him. After this video, he gonna know, and I'm in some deep ass shit. But it gets worse than that. It gets worse than the cheating. Long story short, today I found out a bitch is pregnant. I am pregnant. My husband is overseas. So there's no way it could be my husband, baby. It gotta be this man, baby. Back in with another hot one for y'all today. Now, in this video, we have a really crazy story about a woman. Uh, she ends up cheating on her husband who was overseas in the military. She gets pregnant by a guy, but the guy, you know, ends up knowing her husband. So, yeah, it's a pretty crazy story. Y'all already know the deal, man. Please go ahead, like the video, sub up to the channel. Put them push notifications on too if you can, man. It really helps the channel out a lot, man. It really just helps us continue to grow. Also, I want to give a big shout out to all the supporters on the different platforms, on the TikTok, on the Instagram, on the Patreon. A uh, big shout out to all you guys just for helping us diversify and helping us keep this train going. But with all that said, man, y'all already know the deal. We're going to get right into this one, and I'm going to get my opinion after. You guys, I am into some shit now. I am into some deep shit. So, I'm not even going to do no parts. I'm going to just tell y'all the whole motherfucking story. All right, cool. So, I'm married now, you guys. I've been married for eight years. I have three kids with my husband. My husband is now overseas. He's been over there for about two years. When he do come home, he probably come home three times out of the year. He stay home for two, maybe two to three weeks at a time. All right, cool. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. So, I end up cheating on my husband. Yes, I cheated on him. He don't know that I cheated on him. After this video, he gonna know, and I'm in some deep ass shit. But it gets worse than that. It, it gets worse than the cheating. All right, so I end up going to the bar one night and end up having a one night stand with this guy, and it was amazing. So that one night stand turned into a almost an every night stand. Um, but it was just like a sexual relationship. I didn't even really like care to even really get to know the man. It's just. I'm, I'm married so it was just whatever you know my husband couldn't do for me at the time i was messing with this guy this young fella and he fine too but yeah i'm messing with this fella all right cool so um we've been messing around for maybe two years now or whatever and i'm just now we used to when we when we met up we just get a room but now it's like okay i could come to your house you can't come to my house because my kids is at the house but now i'm going to his house all right cool so long yeah, story short sick. today i found out a bitch is pregnant i am pregnant my husband is overseas so there's no way it could be my husband baby it gotta be this man baby i haven't even told him yet all right so yesterday i go to his house and i see this wall and it got the pictures like the picture collage and stuff and i'm just now paying attention to it so i'm looking at the pictures and i'm just like oh, okay you know he doesn't have any kids but i'm just looking at the pictures and just looking and then i see a picture of my husband on the motherfucking wall so i'm just like the whole time I'm over there, I'm just sitting there, like, trying to think, like, how am I going to ask him, how do you know that guy that's on your wall? So, I'm just, I, I done bit off all my nails, you guys. Like, I got one more thumb left. I got the thumb left because I'm over there nervous. I'm just biting my nails, biting my nails. Just trying to figure out, how am I going to ask him, how do you know this particular man in this goddamn picture? And I'm like... If you know him, then you know he got a wife. So I'm like, was this a setup? Like, cause I, I, I just don't know. So I just fucking like after probably after I ate off all my fingernails and we don't watch movie, everything. Like I, I didn't, I finally asked. So I go back over to the wall. So now I'm just like, all right, cool. You just got to start asking questions like, well, who is this lady? Who is this person? Who is this? So I'm like, who this? He like, that's my mama. Who, this your daddy. All right, cool. And then this nigga right here. I ain't saying like that, but you get down to the nigga right here. How do you know him? Who's that? He said, that's my brother. And I'm like... We've been married for eight years. I ain't never know him to have a, a a brother. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, on on your daddy's side. 
So he's like, yeah, on my dad's side. All right, now, cool. That's some clarity right there because my husband, daddy, died way before the, me even me and him even met. Um, He said he had some siblings on his daddy's side, but he don't really know. Like, like I got some siblings on my daddy's side. Like, I got a whole bunch of, I think, seven of them. I don't really know them like that. Like, I know them, but I don't even know them like that. So, it, you know, it could, yeah, yeah. So my husband ain't really, like, talk about him like that. You know, they cool or whatever, but they ain't, he ain't never, like, you know, he wasn't never at none of the family functions and nothing like that. That's his daddy's side, you know? Some of y'all might not know, but some of y'all that have half-siblings, y'all be, y'all know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, so he like, that's my brother on my daddy's side and all this stuff. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So he's telling me, like, you know, they actually really close. But I ain't never see this nigga. But I'm just like, okay, you know, is he married? He like, yeah, he married. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm like, so do you know his wife? He like, nah, I ain't never met her. She live overseas with with him. So I'm like, no, I'm not. In my head, I'm just like, oh, yeah. He like, yeah, they um, they got two kids in Germany. And I'm just like... Oh, fuck, I got three in my head. So I'm just like, oh, yeah? He's like, yeah. I talk to him, you know, very frequently. I'm just like, oh, okay. Or he like, yeah. So I'm like, maybe that ain't him. Maybe it ain't him. I'm like, maybe it ain't him. Because I got three kids and I live in the United States of America. So I'm just like, okay. So then on the collage, he starts showing me pictures of the pictures I did not see yet. But he showed me pictures of my husband with his wife. Now, mind you, I'm the wife. So he showed me pictures of my husband with another woman. So I'm just like, and, and their kids. So I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. So, but the crazy thing is he got two boys by this other lady. Well, I, from what I'm seeing, he got pictures of the kids up here. These two boys look identical to my kids like they look the same and i'm looking like yo then he's showing me now mind you i have three by my husband i got two boys and a girl so they got two boys so i'm looking at the the rest of the pictures i see a picture of my two sons like my my kids and i'm like the fuck so I'm just like, I'm just playing it dumb, like, oh yeah, cause I I'm in a situation right now. And this is his brother, and I'm just I don't know what to do. So, all right, long story short, I never even told him. Uh, this is that was yesterday. I never even told him nothing about the man and my husband and nothing, his brother. But I'm in some shit, y'all. What do I do? Like, I'm pregnant by my husband's brother. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> yeah, man, when this video started, I was kind of wondering why she was so comfortable uh, detailing this story of her cheating on her husband and she was just letting it all out there with no apprehension, nothing like that. I was kind of confused, so I definitely should have known at some point that it was going to be some wrong on on the part of the husband but yeah man as crazy as this story is and how it and, and how bad it shocked me it really shouldn't be that big a surprise because stories like this and double lives and secret families and stuff like that it really isn't as rare as a lot of people would like to think it is but as crazy as it is with all the cheating and all the double lives and the second family stuff and all the bad on the part of the husband and the wife it's still crazy to me to think that if this woman did not put herself in this predicament uh, of getting pregnant by her husband's brother she would have never found out about this life that her husband was living so i can only imagine the emotions that this woman is feeling in this moment uh just it's just a very messy situation the thing i find hardest to believe about this situation through it all is that this man that this woman is messing with on the side will have picture of this woman's kids put up in his house and not know who those children mother is
I'm not saying that it's completely out the realm of possibility, but just to think that all this can come to a head and, and, and it not be found out just with so many moving parts, it, it's just crazy to think about. Um, I don't know if she posted any second parts or anything like that, but if you guys want to, go ahead to her uh, TikTok. It's called Vicky No Secret. It's her channel name over on TikTok. So you can go over there and check it out if you like, see the original video, and uh, see if she posted anything after this. But that's pretty much all I got to say on it today. Uh, please let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, any stories you guys may have, any thoughts about the video always love uh, reading what you guys have to say about these videos man if you haven't already please leave a like on the video sub up to the channel and put the push notifications on if you can too it really just helps the channel out i know youtube gets funky with the algorithm and so when you put the notifications on it really just helps us out a lot more also if you can go ahead over to the ig man we really trying to build that platform over there man it's not big right now but we're really just trying to grow the platform diversify the platforms y'all you know all that jazz so so if you can support in that way it just be greatly appreciated but with all that said man I'm going to catch y'all next time. Peace.